All right, so in this video, we're going to go over some common troubleshooting steps um, that you might run into. Um, so one of the issues that people run into is DNS. Uh, DNS is basically the phone book of the internet. It translates a friendly web address like facebook.com and turns it into an actual numeric address uh, for the Facebook server. So anyway, um, the issue is that sometimes the Wi-Fi ranger will say online under internet, but then you keep trying to go to these websites and it's not going anywhere. Um, and that indicates that it's a DNS issue. Basically the Wi-Fi ranger is online, it has internet, but then when you're typing in a friendly web address, it's not being translated into a numeric address, which it needs to be. So when you have that problem, you need to get on the control panel of the Wi-Fi Ranger, go to the setup tab, and then we need to turn hide advanced features to off. If you already are in advanced mode, as you can see at the top right, you don't need to worry about that step. Then go to the advanced tab and uh, DNS is by default set to auto. In most cases that works fine, but if you ever have this DNS issue, you need to set it to static. And what I recommend doing is typing in Google's name servers. Google is uh, very reliable um, and their name servers are 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. So that's basically just asking Google to, you know, translate your web addresses for you. So set to static, input Google's name servers, click Save Changes, and now um, just to make sure that those changes take effect, go back to the main tab of the control panel. Uh, once, once it's got that list of networks you're going to click reconnect um, that way the Wi-Fi Ranger connects directly back up to the network it was already using and uh, once it's connected again and says online um, then you should be able to browse the web so that's how to resolve DNS issues and let's say it was set to static um, you can reverse that back to auto and save changes um, some locations it's best to be in auto most it's best to be in static with Google or some other reliable name server okay so um, another issue that people run into when they are connecting to filtered networks uh, networks that require you to log in through some kind of agreement a page um, sometimes those networks will um, not allow you to bring up their page, their login page. Uh, when you connect to a filtered network with a Wi-Fi Ranger, um, it will highlight it in yellow, meaning that you still need to log into it. And then um, under internet, it will say filtered, and it will have a link that says click here to log in. So you can click on that link, and of course in this case it's going to work it brought me to the page just fine but sometimes um, what will happen you'll click that link and it will take you directly back to the control panel so it seems like you didn't go anywhere um, and that can be kind of frustrating but it's an easy fix go to the setup tab and then you will need hide advanced features to be off so that you can see some of these other f features and you need to turn control panel redirect to off. Uh, control panel redirect simply causes the Wi-Fi Ranger to take you back to the control panel if it senses that you're offline. And what's happening is it's just kind of a loop. You know, the Wi-Fi Ranger is like, well, I'm not online. Let's go to the control panel. But you're like, I need to get to the login page so I can get online. So that's what's happening in that case. Um, once you um, have it set to control panel redirect set to off, uh, click save changes, 
if you have an elite pack, a mini pack, or any combination of an indoor and outdoor Wi-Fi ranger, you will also need to make that same change on the outdoor unit. Um, in my case, I've only got a GoTo set up. I don't have an outdoor, but if I did, you would see WFR control being active and right below this there would be a link that says view WFR control panel you'd click on that that would take you to the outdoor units control panel you would go to its setup tab turn height advanced features off click save changes and then turn control panel redirect to off and click save changes so um, it's important to know that you would just need to do that on both the indoor and outdoor unit if you have a pack um, but anyway, that will take care of um, the issue of the Wi-Fi Ranger constantly taking you back to um, the control panel when you're trying to get to the login page of a filtered network. Okay, another fairly common issue is uh, with uh, basically having the wrong Wi-Fi password stored on your computer. So this can happen if let's say you got your Wi-Fi Ranger and you changed the password but you didn't change the name of the network and now your computer has the old um, password stored for um, when it needs the new password so to resolve this what you need to do is um, forget the network on your computer so since I have a Mac uh, the instructions are going to be go to your network preferences and then in network preferences uh, with Wi-Fi selected on the left go to advanced and then um, you've got your list of preferred networks here and I have a very large list you would find um, the Wi-Fi Ranger network so in this case PVT Evans Wi-Fi and hit the minus button to remove the Wi-Fi network. Um, once that's done, then you can go back to your list of networks and click um, onto that network to connect to it and then re-enter the correct password. That's how to do it on a Mac. On a PC, um, you would go to your uh, system tray at the bottom right, click on your Wi-Fi network icon and then go to open network and sharing center on the left hand side there would be a pane that has the option to manage wireless networks you would click on that that will show uh, your list of all your stored networks select the one that has the misentered password and then click remove and then again you would go back to your list of uh, Wi-Fi networks on your PC and connect back so Anyway, that's how to uh, get reconnected using the correct password if for any reason you um, misentered it or you didn't change the name but you changed the password, therefore it would have the wrong password stored. So those are kind of the most common issues that you'll run into which uh, are pretty easy for you to troubleshoot. Um, if you're still having problems, even after making the changes recommended for the problems, um, reboot the Wi-Fi Ranger. You can go to the Setup tab, and at the bottom right, click Reboot, uh, and then try it again. If you're still having issues, then contact us at questions at wifiranger.com, or you can call into our support line.